Born in Lagos of a bad descent, Kazaya Jones's real name is Ulufemi Sayaolu. He was sent to school in the UK at a very young age, but later found out to the dismay of his late dad, Chief Sayaolu, that his future lie in playing the guitar. Kazaya Jones is a singer, songwriter and guitarist who had recorded his first hit single, Rhythm of Love. Basically I use a very dissonant type of music very destructive and very dissonant type of sound because <laughs> I was angry you know that anger was just all the stuff that had been pent up inside man I just it just came out and the music I was making is very dark music and I called it African spacecraft because I said to myself man in reality you know what is the future I'm futuristic you know we are futuristic here yeah. okay we don't have the obvious technological things but what is technology you know technology is the ability to use your mind in a certain way you know not that I create a piece of uh, a material that's sort of you know, a mobile phone or whatever. But if you look at African culture, old Yoruba culture, we're already advanced. That's what Fela was saying as well. And we already have our own technology. It's just not an obvious technology that you can you know, have an object. The technology of the mind and of the spirit, that's more advanced than any material technology. When I had understood this fact, I thought, damn. And the anger of it just really hit me. So I said, well, African spacecraft, in a way, I am technology. I am, I am one of the finest pieces of technology. I'm creation of my parents, a product of Abogata, a product of Yoruba, and I'm here speaking English, speaking French, playing guitar in a funny way, and going traveling all over the world. This is technology, and the Europeans didn't really get that. So I had to make music to get them to see that a little bit. So African Spacecraft was the music that came out of that. I was listening to John Coltrane, and I was listening to Fela, I was listening to Miles Davis, and I tried to blend all of those uh, people into one thing, plus my own sound as well. I, I cut the, you know, I did something like uh, my guitar string. When I play, I break strings a lot. And I was uh, one time I just thought, okay, cut the strings off. I was, I did two strings. I did a couple of songs <laughs> on two strings. I found a way to play two strings. So even people were looking at me like, ah, two strings. I'm still playing bass, still playing percussion, still playing guitar. <laughs> I did a lot of things like that. When you listen to his music, you see a, a mixture of, of the likes of people like Prince, Hendrix, Mali. You see all kinds of fella. You see all kinds of elements that you see that he's managed to capture in his whole groove. And um, he also has um, a stylish attitude. He's also stylish about it in the way he carries himself, in the way he appears in the media. So he's he's shown, and also now in his understanding of like culture, like he's reading into his culture, and he's now trying to like stylize his whole form. You understand what I'm saying? You can see an, a, a person that is that is that is very intelligent, and he's he's apart from the showbiz aspect of his performance, he's also very engaging in terms of the construction of his lyrics. All the last ten years and the last three or four albums has been research. It's just research. It's the research to say that you know I've been able to play many many different styles of music. Um, I've seen enough things to now condense all those things into one solid sound of music and you have to do that here. So that my time here is spent meeting people, meeting musicians and uh, playing with people. I've done a lot of guitar work for a lot of musicians here. There's um, Jazz Hall Records, I don't know if you're aware of them. Yeah. They have a label and a lot of their artists, I play bass for them, play guitar for them and I'm writing for them. Writing in Yoruba again is a whole other thing. <laughs> so, you know, um, so I want to contribute something to the general music scene here. Uh, because it's a bit of a vacuum, I feel, in a way. Um, a lot of American influences, a lot of hip-hop, a lot of R&B. And I think there's a, there's a possibility to make something new and indigenous and modern, you know? And I, can, I think I can add something to that, and that's why I'm here. And he's such a human, uh, uh, humble person, which I think is one of the things that I uh, hold dearly. Um, having a very talented person that is very, very humble and not very ego-headed is very very important to to um, me because I believe that there's so much work to be done. Keziah Jones is well known on the Euro-American tour circuit for his entertaining blend of new soul, funk and afro and has an electrifying approach to guitar playing. Despite being based in the West, Kazaya Jones is not afraid of extending the boundaries of fusion in his search for a stronger connection within his immediate base. Papuka, 